At ITMA, again, many familiar faces, many new faces. Um, I'm very happy to uh, be able to uh, speak to you and to give you some new things that will happen today. On the table, we have two very important people. Chairman Aikida, our global chairman, and he will be doing some introduction of the company and tell you a little bit more about how it's going, where we're going, what things are happening. Then we have our chairman of Europe, Mr. Sagane. Mr. Sagane will help you in the translation yes. of our chairman, as most of you will probably not understand Japanese fully. Uh, if there's any, you will get the two presentations for the price of one, because you will understand both Japanese and the English version. So that's uh, the benefit of being Japanese. Um, for the rest, we have some product information, product news, and we will do after our company overview. Uh, the word for Chairman Akita. Yes, 300B, our first textile printer for sublimation ink on paper, on transfer paper. We now introduce our TX300P 1800 direct to textile printer. This printer has some really exciting new features. First, the most important question which always comes in textile area, a lower running cost because I can print directly on the fabric. There is no excuse anymore not to buy any Maki. The fabric feeding system has been optimized to move the fabric better through the machine and we did something different again. Like Mr. Chairman said, we make something innovative and we do something different. We introduced a high print web so we can really use multiple fabrics. Because the biggest problem in ink and printing was always that the head was very close to the fabric. Now we've been able to increase and I'll elaborate on that part. Another thing we did is standard in the machine, two liter ink bags. When you're producing textile, you're producing probably two or three ships a day. You want big ink consumption available to the machine, which means unattended printing and more economical usage of the machine. We included something which is a nozzle check unit and recovery systems, so automatically the machine can see if there's a problem and correct itself, giving this kind of technology to a mid-market segment which was only available in the very high end of industrial printing. Remote management and monitoring is now also provided. So you can sleep well and your SMS will tell you that your job has finished correctly. Instead of having a problem, the machine will tell you everything was okay. Why? Because it was a Mimaki printer. And we have new ink options that we'll introduce today. So let's look at this machine. One of the first things you'll see is that we really thought about how to transport the fabric through the machine. It's different. We made it in such a way that there are turn bars which you can give different tension for different types of fabrics. It is the automating operator that can make these changes very easily. We have a drive roller which is here which basically pulls the fabric through the machine. So you have accurate transportation. And if you look at the take-up unit and the feeding unit, you can have inside out and outside in when it comes to fabric. Because not every fabric that comes from a manufacturer which is pre-coded, the coating could be inside or the coating could be outside the fabric. We offer you both opportunities to use those fabrics. Another thing we did is the accurate dot placement. It is so crucially important today to really have a very, very accurate dot placement. But when you start firing from a higher distance, you are going to have problems because the carriage is moving very fast and the drops are shooting down. So the result is when the drops fall, they never hit the exact place. By using a new head technology to really fire those drops very fast, they will be exactly on the place they need to be even with higher speed printing. This results in better quality. But quality, just in a normal dark, is not going to give you all the results because you want to have a very smooth image. You want nice radiations. The result is we have variable drop on this machine, giving you that extra quality, giving you that smoothness that is needed for the high-end textile 
production of today. We introduced something which is called, in my opinion, a sort of anti-bending. This biggest problem when you're printing faster and faster is bending, is the differentiation of back and forth printing. So we introduced something called Big Bianchi Advanced Pass System, MAX, which is a random generation of placing dots on every movement, resulting that there is always a perfect interline of the dot placement on the machine, giving you perfect quality. Again, at high speed. At low speeds, that was never a problem. At high speeds, it becomes a problem. And we have solved that with the MAP system. And the examples are clear. When you look at especially dark colors, when it's really important, when you have lots of milliliters of ink being placed on a textile, you will see these problems appear. And especially when you are going from a black area to a light area, it is immediately visible if you don't use maps. Another thing we know is textile printers don't use one printer. They use multiple printers. So we came up with a solution to really be able to have multiple printers connected to one rib, which makes operators really happy because now they can sit behind one location and control multiple printers at the same time. They could be different jobs, they could be the same jobs. We offer the possibility of that today. When we look at the heads, the print configuration, we now have four heads on this one printer. Four heads giving you a lot of nozzles, so there's 800 nozzles per print head. Giving you 800 nozzles per printer means 3,200 nozzles in one printer. Again, we need those nozzles, we need the capability to really put down that ink on textile when it goes high speed. And the difference of this is that these nozzles can fire faster, like I said, which means higher. And if you look at the results in the older generation heads, you can see that most people are printing at three millimeter, this will be the result. With the new heads, seven millimeter difference will give you almost the same experience. So if you go to five millimeters, you will have a better image than you used to have in the older technology heads. This is a big advancement in technology. Again, something different to the market. When we look at the grainy appearance, especially when you go, and this is really not the best beaver in the world, I really have to apologize, but I can show you the images on my screen. You'll see the difference there. So I'll skip this one because the beaver is really fantastic. When you are changing the height of the head, you can determine it by yourself. But just turning something on a screw, what did I use yesterday? What did I use the day before? That would be really complicated. So what we've done is we have integrated, when you change the height of the head with the display panel, so you know exactly what you were doing yesterday and the day before. This is a big advancement again, because in the old days it was just Maybe I use about approximate, maybe this was right. No, we don't like that. We want to give you exactly. So this printer on this display says 6.85 millimeters height. That is the precision of Mimaki, giving you this really big quality. Another thing we know, especially in dye sublimation, is mist. This means when you're printing really fast on certain fabrics, there will be a bounce back of some ink. This will dirty your printer. This will make you having really bad days after a week of production when your printer is dirty. We have the option for certain fabrics that you're using, we have the option for a, match, uh, a mist catch unit, which basically catches this misting and takes it out of the printer, keeping your printer operational all the time. So one of the most exciting things in this printer because we are talking a mid-segment printer, we're not talking a huge industrial printer, is the nozzle check unit. This is a technology that we build into this machine which automatically checks between jobs if every nozzle is there. And if there is a nozzle missing, we replace this automatically with a different nozzle. Up to 10 nozzles per row, we can do this. So 10 defective nozzles can be replaced without any speed consequence. You will not notice the difference. The machine does this for you. 
This is a really big advancement in technology. Again, something new, something different. And if this doesn't work for you, giving you no stoppage, no need for direct service intervention, you, with the Mimaki, can keep on printing. But let's say nozzle 11 goes down. Let's just take this. After a lot of production, we can still use our nozzle recovery system that we used to introduce a couple of years ago, which is a manual replacement, which we then say, this nozzle, this nozzle, this nozzle are defective. Please replace. The speed will go down, yes. But you can still print. Maybe you have to work an hour longer, but you can still print. You can still supply the customer with the correct job. This is very important because we don't want our customers to stop printing. We want them to continue to do it. And that's why I'm saying we have the event mail notification giving you that information directly on your iPhone saying, hi, I'm finished. Or hi, I'm out of paper. Or hi, I need ink because you are using me a lot. So there's a really a lot of technology involved. That's why we have the ink supply system giving you big bulk packs, non-stop ink replacement. This is a, one of the first printers where you can take out one of the ink stacks and put a new one in while it's printing. So you can refill the machine while it's in the middle of full production. And we made it a little more friendly. We made a display in color where you can see how much ink is still left in the machine. The operator also needs to have a smile and we included a smile that blinks blue when it's really happy. And it blinks red, which seldomly happens when it's unhappy. Speed of the machine, always important. Our max speed at 54360 bi-directional high speed two pass, which for certain materials is enough at 68 square meters an hour. And slowly it goes down depending on your highest quality. At 720, 1440, it is still producing 14 square meters an hour, which is extreme high quality, way too much for textile. Because that type of quality, even Hermes, Versace, and other great companies in the area of Como will never need. All this is great because it's a printer, but a printer needs ink. And this is where the interesting things come out because Mimaki is introducing today a full scale of inks for one printer. Direct to fabric sublimation inks, disperse inks, pigment inks, acid, and reactive inks. All these inks, new. And this is really interesting because all the inks, again, in two liter bags, immediately into the MBIS system, and it just keeps on working. Let's look at the inks one by one. Our sublimation ink 420 that we introduced today is a high density black, really well for sportswear. This is a sublimation ink that gives you that power that people have been asking for in the market. A better ink penetration, a lower initial cost, but the fabric still needs to be pre-treated. If not, you'll get bleeding, which is normal in any polyester fabric. If we look at our dispersing, a total new type of ink. High energy disperse on a mid-segment system is something new to the market. It gives you very good light fastness, gives you better washing and rubbing resistance, it's really suitable for high value printing. Think about industrial applications like car seats, airplane seats, seat belts, curtains, outdoor tents, rain gear, all the things that dye sublimation, the standard dye sublimation, was not a good enough for. With dispersing you need. We will have it available in eight colors. CNYK, red, gray, violet, and pink. You will need a pre-treatment on your materials, and yes, you will have to use the traditional steaming and washing like you do with any other dispersed product. If you look at the light fastness and a comparison between normal sublimation inks, our own sublimation inks, with our own dispersed inks, everything that is red is better, and everything that's green is improved with one grade higher than what we used to have. And if you look clearly, and I know they're really small, but you'll get this presentation, you'll see that most of the things are four and five in the blah wall scale, which means more than enough for the industry usage today when it comes to high value disperse. Again, everybody's been waiting for it. This has been the thing here at ICMA. Everybody waits for one thing. Remember what it was? You guys are pressed. You need to be here for one thing. Yes, textile pigment ink. 
everybody, now this is the age of textile pigmenting, guys. Why? Because no more washing is needed. Well, it's not totally true. If you really want to have good quality, I would advise you to wash. But still, for a lot of applications, it's not needed. It's a lower initial investment because we have a very simple 32,000 high complicated engineered product in the market with textile products, right with textile in. No pretreatment is required, although for certain fabrics I would re uh, really recommend you to use a pretreatment, uh, pre and we have this available, for especially for animal fibers like silk, wool, and maybe nylon and polyester, you would use it also. But for a lot of cottons, you can do this without pretreatment at all. Textile pigment will be available in CNYK, in blue, red, light black, giving you the really nice monotone colors that were missing in the textile pigmenting world, and green to expand the total color gamut of our inks.